This is Steve Says, episode number 34. You do not want to miss this freak show, like I said. In spirit of Halloween, today we're going to take off our freaking mask. We're going to reveal how to uncover your true self or even create a new, a new self that you've always wanted to create. Today is about letting your freak out, letting the fucking beast out. Then what to do next and how to deal with that true self that you've uncovered and revealed to the world. Again, Steve Says, episode number 34. You know, each week we come here, some people can... Some people are going to hate us, but most people are going to relate. This is peak freak personal development, peak freak style. It's all about adapting and overcoming, becoming a better version of yourself every day, getting your shit together, stop being a little bitch, trusting the process, and making no excuses. We're going to get into it. We have a visitor. Very normal kid. I can't imagine where he gets it from. You're not scared of me, kid? I'm just getting you guys up on my screen here so I can see if you have any comments with my lovely face here. So again, Steve says episode number 34 today is about taking off your mask, becoming the, the real you. Have you been covering up the real you? Have you been wearing a freaking mask your entire life, maybe for the past month, the past year, or even your entire fucking life? In the spirit of Halloween, today we take off the mask. We're going to reveal how to uncover that true self and unleash your freaking freak and unleash your beast. So now you know the mask is off. You know I need to take a sip of my Herbalife. So give me a second for that. While you guys log in there. All right, let's keep rolling. So this is all about unleashing your freak, unleashing your freaking beast. Today we're going to let the freak out. We're going to let the beast out. And we got another freak coming to join us. And she can't be seen. No, I can't be. And she's shooting you and whistling. Go that way. All right. Let's get back to the freak show. So like I was saying, maybe you've been wearing a mask the last month, the year, your entire life. Halloween. We're wearing masks, we're taking them off, letting out the freak, letting out the beast, and then going to go over how, how, what to do next. So it all starts with being yourself. Being yourself is what it's all about. And can anyone tell me what our core value number five is? If anyone can tell me what the core value number five is, you have like two seconds because we got to keep rolling. I know you people want to go out and get go do your freaking trick-or-treating and shit, and you still have some classes to get to. Rosa, what's up, Rosa? Who else is in there? Raj is in there. So anyway, Peak Physique core value number five is have fun, be crazy, be real, be yourself, have a sense of humor, and make people laugh. We have 15 core values. You see them listed all over the gym. They're listed everywhere you go. That is number five. It's all, today, it's all about being yourself. Basically, I don't give a fuck what anybody thinks about me. You know, what is what, is what someone thinks about me, what some other douchebag is going to think about me, ever going to have an effect on my life or my kids? Or my, my peak freak lives that I'm trying to impact and change, you know, positively. It's not going to affect me. Today's all about being yourself. Taking off those fucking masks you've worn for years or your entire life, you know, probably just to please all those people in your life. Don't be a people pleaser because that usually leads to fucking misery, defeat, failure, and, and you know, being by your damn self. That's what it's going to lead to. All your life, the, the teachers, your parents, TV, and now fucking Facebook is telling you who you should be, how you should act, how you should talk, how you should fucking dress even what you should think. I'm here to today tell you, fuck that. If, if you want a pet goat, go get a fucking pet goat. You're, you're a unique freak. You have a freaking mind of your own. Live, live your life your way. Whatever makes you happy, live on your fucking terms. Within moral values, of course. It's going to keep peeking down, see if you guys have anything you want to comment, telling me to shut the hell up or something. So this is going to lead us to our first section, which is about you know some things that we all probably have, some things we all carry around with us. And that is are scars. Scars are some are either they could be physical scars, they could be internal. I don't even have time to wait for you guys. I'm too fired up today. It's fucking Halloween. Maybe I had too much sugar or something, but I don't even have time to wait for you guys to guess these words because we just got to get rolling. Scars is our first section, our first word we're looking at. It could be a physical or a mental scar. A scar, the two terms of it are basically a, a mark left by a healed wound or a sore or a burn, or it could be a lasting effect of trouble, especially Lasting psychological injury resulting from suffering or trauma. Obviously, there's two distinct different versions of scars, but we all walk around with scars. We all probably have both physical and mental scars. So 
We're going to talk about that for a second. Don't use those scars, whether they're outside your body or inside your body. Don't use them as an excuse not to be yourself or to not go after your dreams or, or to not you know, bring the, show the world the best version of yourself. Don't do it. Don't use them as an excuse to be a, a, a freaking failure or a deadbeat or, or a freaking douchebag or something. Don't use your scars to become a drug addict or a criminal just because that's what the people before you, you know, supposedly showed you that's the way it's supposed to be. Or don't let your scars hold you back from success or be the person that you're destined to be. We all have those scars and some of us have much deeper scars than others. So, so stop with the fucking self-pity and feel sorry for yourself because of this and that. Get over it. Find the fucking positive side of it and move on and make shit happen. So I'm going to share a a story with you on scars. A very personal story on scars. Well, it's actually not even my personal story. This is going to be Eva's personal story on scars. Hopefully she's not listening because she'll probably be pissed off, but whatever. She'll be fine. Eva has had two C-sections, a hernia repair surgery, a diastasis, something, rectus surgery, something like that. All within three years. I don't know how to say that shit. I'm not a damn doctor. I freaking lift weights for a living. Anyway, that's four fucking surgeries on her stomach in less than three years. And they've left her stomach scarred and maybe not looking the way it used to look. But you know what? You know, I know it gets in her head sometimes subconsciously. She thinks it doesn't look normal or doesn't look good or brings her down. Or whatever story sometimes we tell ourselves about how how bad things are usually when they're not even that bad. But those surgery and scars and negative thoughts came from having those two freak kids that were just down here shooting you in the fucking camera. It doesn't get any more positive than that. So that stomach... It's not something bad. It's not something negative. It's not something ugly. That shit is a badge of fucking honor, which led to these two lives of these amazing little psychotic little freaking creatures that you just saw. Those kids wouldn't be causing havoc and fighting and training and shooting cameras and breaking shit and beating the shit out of each other and kicking my ass if it wasn't for those scars. So I will take that stomach and these two free kids over a six pack and no kids any day of the fucking week, obviously. So this leads us to our next word, which this one I'll give you a second to try and figure out figure out what this is all about, what this next word is. Basically a high opinion of your own dignity or importance or merit or superiority, whether it's in the mind, in your mind or the way you conduct yourself. A pleasure or a satisfaction taken in doing something or something belonging to yourself or a credit for yourself, a dignity, an honor, self-respect, self-confidence, self-worth, self-regard, whatever you want to talk about, at least this next word we're talking about. And we're going to continue on the story with the freaking scars. I don't have time for you to, well, self-worth is one of the words I just said, pretty much. The word I'm looking for, I don't have time to wait because I'm fucking bouncing off the walls, is pride. So we have the scars that are going to lead to the freaking pride. I tell Eva all the time, have pride in your fucking stomach. That's who you are. That's who you become. You know, that's your fucking story. That's your hero's story. That's the reason that these maniac freak kids are here. Yes, they're fucking nuts, but she should be proud of that stomach and wear those scars with motherfucking pride. I'm sure a lot of you can relate to this on many levels, whether your scars are visual or or internal, or mental, psychological, we all have those fucking scars. Wear those motherfuckers with pride. Wave that shit in the air like a victorious banner of victory, of success, of of accomplishment. Those are the fucking marks of a warrior and the marks of a fucking hero. Have pride in who you are and, you know, who you really fucking are. Have pride in who you want to become. Have pride in whatever it is that you've already become. Have pride in your goals, your dreams, your vision. Have pride in your accomplishments in life, even if they left you with those fucking scars. I think a lot of people take those scars and, and, and misuse the pride from those scars and, and play the blame game like we talked about last week. I had a miserable fucking childhood. I was poor and fucking hungry. I didn't have shit. I had no birthday parties, no cool toys, no fucking friends. That's no excuse to give my kids a shitty childhood. That's, a, that's an excuse to do the complete opposite and give them an awesome fucking childhood. I carry those scars with pride, which is why I'm always so transparent with those things with you guys. I use that shit as a fucking superpower to give my kids the best life possible and make them the two happy little crazy, psychotic, crazy ass freaks that they are. I'm proud of my scars and being able to uncover them and use them for good rather than evil. And that, that leads you to the next step, which is not giving a fuck. But, you know, you dress how you want to dress, not how some dumbass magazine or, or a website tells you how you're supposed to be dressing or what's the new trend or this is how they're dressing. Who the fuck are they? Some doofuses in a damn magazine? That's who you're, you're living your life after? I've told this story before, but I'm going to tell it again about, about Tyson. He did it today. Went to school with his, with his shirt on, inside out and backwards, wearing his two different color sneakers. He's got a bald shaved head, just like me, because that's the way he wants to do it. And here he knows that at six years old, he's going to be himself. He's not going to give a fuck what anyone thinks about him. And someone tells him at school, your shirt's on inside out. He's like, I know, that's how I like it. That's how I want it. They can't, you can't be make fun of someone who's doing what they want to do. You can't be picked on. 
your pre your 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 defenses are up. You're impenetrable. So basically, with those two different shoes, the last thought in my head every day before I leave the house each day, when I put on those two different colored sneakers, and I'm and I'm you know going to myself in my head, I'm gonna be myself that day. I'm gonna be fucking different that day. I'm gonna be who I wanna be that day. I'm not gonna give a fuck what anyone thinks about me that day. I'm gonna be a role model to my kids that day. I'm gonna learn something new from everyone, like I learned this from my kids that day. And, and nothing could stop you. Nothing could slow you down. So this way of thinking and living and wearing your scars positively with fucking pride, being yourself and not giving a fuck about what other people think, this will lead to an improved you. Or even for a lot of people, you've probably been wearing so many fucking masks like I was just wearing a second ago for so long that you don't want to be an improved you. You want to be an entirely new you. And that's totally fine. And that's what, what this is all about. And this, this way of thinking will give you the freedom to do that and live life on your motherfucking terms. You know, I call this my eight mile strategy. If you ever saw the movie Eight Mile, at the end, they have that final rap battle, right? He chooses to go first and he calls out all the own shit in his own life about how his mother's a drug addict, his, that his, these, these other guys were gang banging his girlfriend or some shit and, and, you know, they beat his ass and all this other shit because he knew that they were going to try to use that against him. If, if I call it out, what can anyone possibly say to me? You can't hurt my fucking feelings if I just put it all out there on the table and said, yes, this is me and I don't give a fuck. So how could you possibly bring me down? If you can come to grips with who you are, the shit you've been through, and you're still standing here breathing fucking alive and happy and successful, what can anyone possibly ever say to you to bring you down? It can't happen. With this eight mile strategy I'm talking about, you can't be defeated. You can't be dragged through the fucking mud. You can't be embarrassed. You can't be knocked down. You, you, you already have flown your fucking fucked up scar flag high and motherfucking proud in the sky. You can't be stopped. You're a superhero. You're bulletproof and you're a super freak. You're unfucking breakable. That's what you are when you start waving and you're proud to bear your scars and show what it is and be transparent about it. So now you have the major fucking breakthrough. You're wearing two different color shoes. You shave your head. You're saying, fuck this, fuck that. You're being exactly who you're comfortable being. You're exactly who you want to be. It's like a, it's like a freedom. It's fucking freedom. It's a gift. It's fucking power. With this power, you know you have to do something with it. You know you need to fulfill something with this new power. This is the point where you normally have to figure out a new word, but I'm going to fucking tell you the word. The next word is what you have to do with that power, with that, with that new power you have, is obligation. You are going to be obligated to pay it forward. Wear those freaking scars with pride. Use them as a superpower, like I was saying, that motivates and empowers you and people around you. And use them to help people. Maybe prevent... People from making the same mistakes you made or getting the same unnecessary scars on their own. Obviously, everyone needs to go through their own shit. That's usually the way you learn things the best. But if you can help someone out and prevent them some of those scars, then why not help out by paying it forward and being selfless? You know, you spent all this time worrying about yourself. What will people think of me? I should do this or maybe I should do that. This person telling me to do this. This person telling me to do that. What if I look stupid? What if I fuck this up? I should go left. I should go right. I should go up. I should go down. I should go in. I should go out. What the fuck? Just shut the fuck up. We're past that stage. You're an awesome fucking freak rock star and you know it. Stop worrying about all the bullshit. Stop being a selfish little prick. Get over yourself and pay that shit forward. Help someone else out that's in, the, you know, needs the same fucking wake up call you just had. Stop always worrying about your fucking self and misusing your pride that we talked about earlier. You always make it, don't always make it about yourself. You know, the, the poor fucking victim like we've talked about in the past. Now that you've overcome all that bullshit, be selfless and lift someone else up for once. Don't be a selfish, slimy, backstabbing little motherfucker. You are, you are allowed to be happy for other people. And, and other people around you are allowed to succeed and you should help them. Don't, don't be a, a, a fucking hater, especially when you're already on your way and you've already figured out this secret about your scars and this whole little eight mile thing I'm talking about and wearing your scars you know, with pride and paying it forward and not giving a fuck and living life on your own terms. You figured out this secret. Pay that shit forward. You can't keep it all, all, all this to yourself. You can't keep the secret to yourself. You need to self, selflessly pay it forward. Don't continue to use those scars as an excuse. Don't just think about yourself like, again, like you're the victim of, of life that you were given or, you know, this is, you have no other choice. This is just the life you were, the hand you were chose, whatever the hell that saying is, the hand, whatever, hand you were dealt. Use that pride and those motherfucking scars for good. And one way to use them for good and to pay it forward is, is crazy coming from me, but it's in human interaction. One of the best ways you could selflessly pay this new superpower that you've just discovered, you know, of the new you and pay it forward is through this new fucking phenomenon called human interaction. I know with the Facebooks and the Twitters and all this other bullshit, people don't even know how to talk to each other in person anymore. Like when I was a kid, my old ass, we didn't have any of that stuff. So you were forced to. That's probably why I ended up 
all freaking weird. And then we're caught in between. So now we have all this Facebook and all this other shit. There's no human interaction barely exists. That's like this, this weekend at this party was on, on a big display with all the freaks at our party we had. That's what it's all about. You know, this is obviously something I struggle with a lot myself, being the, the fucked up individual I am from the past and talking to people in person, you know, was always one of my weaker points. And if I was, if I was about to ever get in an elevator, right, and someone else was getting in, I would just wait or act like I was busy doing something. So they got in and went up and I would just wait just because I don't want to be in an elevator with that motherfucker. That's how much I try to avoid personal interaction, you know? like weddings forget about it sitting stuck at a fucking table with a bunch of people i don't know asking to me who do you know who are who are you who are you here for the, the the bride or the goat or whatever it's called you know no fucking thank you i'm constantly trying to overcome that by meeting new people and doing positive and motivated speaking presentations you know regularly in person or on these live things like this interacting with you freaks you know regularly for different groups you know, that's why this gym of ours is so unique. We're, we are a group of people all with different scars and different fears and uncertainties and doubts and weaknesses, but we still have fucking pride. And we come together every fucking day and we suffer through these workouts. As we evolve, we, you know, we then selflessly pay it forward to the new people coming in and help them out and show them the way of all the secrets we just learned about being ourselves and not giving a fuck. It's all about being positive, making a fucking difference, you know, in not only your life, but other people's lives around you and in your space and in your circle that aren't you know, going against you. That's why we created this culture here, to be a safe haven, an escape, for people to have somewhere to turn where when, when they felt like there's nowhere else to turn, a place for them to fit in when they didn't fit in anywhere else their entire life, a place to get guidance, leadership, camaraderie, no, like, like they can't get anywhere else in the freaking world, a place to get results when results seemed impossible for them or like they didn't deserve results. All this while getting in the best fucking shape of your life. That's what it's all about. So quick recap of it, before my head explodes, I got to go trick-or-treating or some shit or go run around with an axe or whatever the hell I'm going to do tonight. The whole recap is to be yourself, use your fucking scars to operate with pride and wave that, that scar banner up high in the sky, proud of your freaking scars. Don't give a fuck what other people think about you. Be the real or even new you and then fulfill your obligation to pay it forward selflessly, selflessly helping other people and be ha- being happy for other people all through Human freaking interaction in real life, not just always on a freaking computer. That's it for this week of Steve Says, because I'm about to explode. If you have any questions or comments, or you just want me to shut the fuck up, tell me in the comments, and I'll talk to you guys later.